If you're a heating air machine technician or even a salesperson, what's a good word track or question that you could use, especially when it comes to money and objections and why does it matter? This is an important question. I'm Scott Silva Bell, coming to you live for HVAC Technician Sales Secrets on a perfect day to talk about sales and a perfect day to talk about you. There's going to be a point where you are sitting and you're talking to Mr. Buyer and Mrs. Buyer, and they're going to roll out an objection. And they're going to say something along the lines of, your price is too high, or you're out of your mind. And you've got a lot of things that you can do from here, but one of the best things to do is to divert the pressure from you and start asking questions, right? Selling isn't telling. Selling comes down to you asking questions to get clarification. And you could use a pattern like this. You could say, that's interesting compared to what? And just stop talking. It's your goal. It's your responsibility to figure out what they're comparing you to. And so you may be up against Cheap Charlie. You could be up against Chuck in a truck. You could be up against a competitor that really has a subpar piece of equipment, product, or even a service. And if you just roll into self-presentation mode without getting clarification and without figuring out how, how am I, how am I going to adjust this conversation, what ends up happening is you end up spinning. You're spinning in the sales process where you're just talking and it's not getting you anywhere. Right? It'll just end up annoying your, your potential buyer, your potential client. And at that point, you typically lose the people. So it's super importante for you to be willing to ask this question. Instead of like instantly, I got to answer this, like flip it and say, that's interesting. Or, okay, compared to what? What are we comparing this to? And let that person explain it. And a lot of times what you're going to find is it's not the same thing. It's not the same product. It's not the same service. The last sales dude or the last sales chick did not do their job and they didn't explain what is all included. And that's not your fault. But it's your role and it's your responsibility to do better than the dude or the chick that was in front of you and explain why you have a superior product, a superior service, and what you do that's really going to help them. That's, that's what sales is about. Sales is about having the conversations that nobody wants to have and, and explaining like, look, this is the benefit. Sure, there's somebody out there willing to do it for half as much, but do you really want that? You're going to lose out on X, Y, and Z, as they say. You're going to have problem one, problem two, and problem three. And here's the thing. This is why you want to work with a good company with a good reputation, because then you have the ability to back it up, especially if there's a ton of, re ton of reviews. And this right here, right above me, is why you should join my email publication. Type that, that email, that, that URL into a browser. I'll probably ask you for your email address your name and your phone number, like three pieces of information. I'll give you the goods, not in the Facebook group, not in the YouTube channel. So compared to what is a very good comparison question. I got a bunch of videos up on YouTube and uh, somebody put in the comments, hey, you know what? The way I like to address this is compared to what? And I go through all my listings of all my work tracks. And I'm like, oh, wait a minute, I don't have that in there. I better put a video out there that says compared to what? So for the YouTube viewer that says add, add this in, spot on, dead on, you're absolutely right, giving you props. Uh, thank you very much for being engaged and leaving that comment. And so being able to take that concern or what you may call as an objection and flip it into, give me more information. Can you help me out? Com what are we comparing this to? Interesting. Compared to what? Like you need to go into curiosity mode, not into aggression mode where you're like, compared to what? Right? That's the wrong way to do it. You just say, hmm, interesting. Compared to what? Huh, maybe you can help me out here. What are we comparing this to? You can ad lib it and you can put some more content in front of it and have a longer conversation or you can just go, okay, compared to what? You know, you roll a price of 20 grand, 100 grand, 200,000, like, whoa, that's high, right? Whoa, that's high. You just need to know what you're going to do when that happens. You got one of three things to do from here. Just one of three. Find the subscribe button, click on it, and every time I send out a video, you'll get an update. Two, hit follow. Three, share this video with a friend. We'll see you soon. Thanks for watching.